Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video, I am going to discuss an approach for text skew detection using Hog transformation in MATLAB. So what is that? Suppose you have scanned one image, okay, and in that, the, there is text image basically and the text are scanned, after scanning you have observed that text are coming like this, okay, but this is your original image, okay. So we say this text has some skewness, okay. That may be alignment may be coming like this, okay. And whereas this is your whole image, okay. Now, what we have to do using our image processing algorithm, we need to make this text horizontal, okay. So that it became zero skewness line, okay. So how we can do that? The idea is very simple. We will be using hop transformation, the concept whatever I have discussed in my previous video. But before moving to the actual code, let me discuss the geometry behind the algorithm. Okay. So the line which is perfectly horizontal have angle 90 degree in its low theta space. You may ask why. The explanation is very simple. Suppose I am having this text, text present in an image and this is my image axis, x axis in this direction, y axis in this direction. Now what is the theta? We, we can extend this line in this direction and if we draw perpendicular from the origin, this is our perpendicular, the y axis itself and the angle it is forming with respect to x axis is 90 degree, right? So for a perfect horizontal text line or straight line we can say the angle theta is 90 degree in our parameter space and how we are measuring angle from x axis we have start we have started and we are going to the perpendicular okay so this is considered as positive direction okay so this is the 90 degree so for perfect straight line the angle is 90 degree now suppose using Hog transformation, we are, if we able to detect the angle of this particular line or maybe this particular line, then we can apply some geometrical fundamental concept to adjust this particular skewed line to uh, such uh, angle that the angle became 90 degree. Okay. So how we can do that? So we need to consider two different scenarios. One is text can be like this. Another, other ways text can be detected like this. Okay, so let us consider each case one by one. Suppose first consider this case. Okay, so what is the theta? We will draw perpendicular from origin to the straight line and measure the angle like this from x axis to the perpendicular. Okay, so this is my theta. Now we need to calculate the angle which is formed by this particular line and the horizontal line. Okay, that is this angle is our desired. How we can calculate? Very simple, if this angle is theta, this particular angle is going to be 90 degree minus theta and this angle is already 90 degree, so this particular angle is going to be theta, right? Simple geometry you can apply, total uh, angle sum is 180 degree and if this angle is 90 degree, this angle is 90 degree minus theta, so obviously this angle is going to be theta, right? So now, if this angle is going to be theta and this whole angle is 90 degree because this particular line is perpendicular to y axis. So this angle is going to be 90 degree minus theta. Okay. So what we have derived? We have derived for text if the alignment is like this and we need to convert this text to horizontal line. We have to rotate our original text in this direction by an angle 90 degree minus theta. And what is this direction? This direction, right? This is nothing but what? our clockwise direction, right? So I hope you have understood for this case. Now consider the reverse scenario where we have the text alignment like this, okay? Now we need to calculate the angle in between this, this text and this one, okay? So first of all, hop transform, what it will predict the angle, let us understand. So we need to expand this particular line in this direction to get the perpendicular. We will draw the perpendicular. Now, as I have told you, from x axis, we will go to our uh, perpendicular. Okay. So, you may think it will go like this, but no, it is not like this. What MATLAB algorithm does, it extends the perpendicular in this direction and then it calculates this angle. Okay. 
from x axis to the perpendicular and this is negative theta whatever angle it calculates using this this is negative why because in our previous scenario we have seen that when this is y axis this is x axis this is my straight line this is the perpendicular drawn so we are going in this direction we are calculating positive theta now we are going in reverse direction so obviously to differentiate in between these two cases we require negative value right because this is opposite direction so this is negative theta now we need to calculate this angle okay the angle formed between the horizontal line and this particular straight line so how you can calculate this is negative theta so see if you just extend the y axis in reverse direction this angle is going to be what 90 degree minus absolute of this theta value whatever we are getting so this is 90 degree minus theta and as a result by applying simple geometry whatever angle we will be getting here same angle we will be getting here so this angle is also going to be 90 degree minus absolute of theta okay and this angle is already 90 degree so this particular angle is going to be nothing but mod of theta and if this angle is mod of theta this angle is also going to be mod of theta and if this angle is mod of theta no doubt this angle is going to be 90 degree minus mod of theta okay because this total angle is 90 degree this angle is mod of theta so this angle is going to be 90 degree minus mod of theta and how we are rotating see our original image has this particular line we need to rotate in this direction okay so what is this direction try to understand what is this nothing but anti clockwise direction right so what we have concluded if our hoc transformation is detecting our line as negative value of theta we need to rotate our original image by 90 degree minus theta in the anti clockwise direction and if our hoc transformation is detecting positive theta that is this particular scenario where image has this kind of straight line then our image has to be rotated in the clockwise direction by 90 degree minus theta okay one is 90 degree minus theta clockwise direction another one is 90 degree minus absolute or mod of theta in anti clockwise direction okay two scenarios now let us go to matlab and try to understand each line one by one so this is the simple code CLC clear all closure warning of k equal to im read capture dot jpg im show k I have taken one image from internet and if I show you you can clearly understand this is one text having skewness okay now what we can do no need to consider anything just focus on the programming how I am explaining SAM equal to k I am storing my original image in some other variable for future purpose if we use the variable k our image should be stored in some other variable right so I am storing this and then applying the same algorithm that is up to this particular part okay let me just yes up to this particular part same code as I have used for my hop transformation in my previous video just the modification is here I need to detect only one straight line present in our text okay if we able to detect any of these straight line as all are parallel so our job will be done okay and I am taking very high threshold value for this purpose that is 0.9 times maximum and I am applying seal on this okay and fill gap I am taking 0.8 into C what is C? C is basically number of columns present in our original image why like this? try to understand very simple very logical I will be explaining each code line by line see our fill lines will join lines if they are having minimum gap of C, uh, that value whatever we are giving right so what may be the value see our total width of this particular image is C so we are doing we, we, we are uh, taking uh, fill gaps value with uh, some lesser value than our actual width of this image so for that purpose i have taken 0.88 times c okay then applying the same logic as earlier then this is the most important part which i have not used in my previous video but now i am using line dot theta gives us the angle value okay here if you check the documentation of the hop to hop lines okay if you go below here you can see it has four uh, main output and here that is theta which is angle in degrees in hop transform beam and we require the angle okay this particular line angle we require right so that we can get using lines dot theta 
if lines dot theta less than zero, what we are doing? We have to rotate our image in anti-clockwise direction by a value 90 degree minus absolute of theta. That's what I am doing. G equal to I am rotate M, our original image, comma 90 degree minus absolute of theta. Okay. Else, if that is detected in clockwise direction, that means lines dot theta is positive. What we have to do? We need to rotate our image in clockwise direction by 90 degree minus theta. But if you check our documentation of image rotation, you can see that to rotate the image clockwise, specify the negative value of the angle by which you want to rotate. So actually we want to rotate 90 degree minus theta, but as we want to rotate in clockwise direction, we need to take minus, that means we can rotate by line dot theta minus 90 degree, because 90 degree minus theta, and if you take minus before this expression, it will be getting theta minus 90 degree, that's what I have done here, line dot theta minus 90 degree. That's all plotting original image and showing the uh, modified, uh, unskewed version of our original image, okay? So let us run the whole code and if I just run this, see this is our original image which is text image which is having skewness and this is the image where the skewness is removed. But while applying IEM rotate, these boundary parts are coming as black color and for this purpose what I have done, I have searched in internet and I found in MATLAB community one beautiful answer, this particular answer I have got, image rotate one white background instead of black which is default and if you go below here this particular code I have taken, okay. So as a result what will happen, this will not allow the dark lines coming in the border in our output image. So that code itself I have taken here, just copied and pasted, okay and the function name is I am rotate white, okay, which will change our image black to white, whatever things we are getting. So instead of I am rotate, I will be pasting I am rotate white. Okay, that's all. Now let's see the beauty. Okay, so here this is our image where skewness is like this. Okay, let me take some other one, capture one, let me take which I have taken again from internet, let me check what error, sorry capture 2, no, no capture 1 present. So see, very high skewness, but still it is detected. This is what case? This is the first case I have discussed, right? This one. When my text having this kind of alignment, you can observe, see? This one, right? And you can see our hog output also one line is detected. Now let us take some other cases also. Okay. Let me take capture 3. Okay. That is the second case what I have taken. See. Here also perfectly working. This is the second case what I have discussed. Right. You can see. See this is the second case. Lines going like this. And here also you can observe. Lines going like this. Okay. Then. One more example I can show you. This is general uh, code. No need to modify anything. Just take the image and apply. As simple as that. See here also working. Let me take some other type. GG. One image I have got from internet. See how beautiful it is modifying, removing the skewness. Okay. One more case I can take. CG. So this is image of one bill which is having this kind of skewness, you can observe, but the output image has zero skewness, okay? So like that, like uh, using this particular simple code, you can detect and correct the skewness present in your text image, okay? This is all for my this video. Whole code, whatever functions required, will be posted in the description box or in the comment section. Check that. And if you want to know the fundamentals of how transform, don't forget to check my previous videos in the playlist of image processing using MATLAB. Thank you for watching.